before we continue. Now that you like to subscribe, let's talk about the this young dog city situation. of Memphis. Um, young dog by far is super up. up. The the divide is real. There have been multiple shootings, multiple suspects have been found. Um the fake autopsy going around a young dog is fake. It looked gruesome. I spoke to family members that's within his circle. And they all just grieving. Just still can't wrap their hand around the situation. Dolph's security guard was lacking that whole day. Dolph wasn't lacking. Dolph paid security to watch his back for when he lacked. And his security did not do his job. His security was in the bulletproof car sitting in there the whole time. These people ran up on Dolph and waited till these suspects got in the car to try to shoot back. What was you doing? Your hand was on the phone? Your head was in the phone? Maybe shooting that dog, they weren't even looking at you. You could have snuck outside the door on the other side is bulletproof and open fire. People, a lot of people claim they with that, but they freeze up when it's time for action. They freeze up. Super freeze. Now that guy got to live with that. He got dog. He has to live with that. Everybody going to pinpoint him like, dude. How you had that big ass baby Draco? He's supposed to be moving strategic. He's supposed to be moving like real life, like a like a like a mafia figure. Like, hey, ain't no way the guy with him got a Draco, but ain't shoot for forty eight hours just to calm it down, get the public publicity off of it. Right now, city of Memphis is sad right now. R. P. to Dolph. My prayers go out to both camps. What I'm noticing is a lot of talk about people basically giving their opinion, saying that that wasn't his security, that was his brother. He was on S. That still is his security. I don't care if it was his cousin, his uncle, his nephew, his whoever. He had the gun. He was the one protecting Young North. And... Young Dolph didn't get protected. Young Dolph got shot down in a broad daylight in the middle of Memphis. And then the guy wanted to shoot at the last minute. So you can miss me with all that. Trying to say that that wasn't the security. You can't get me wrong. I don't care who it was. It could have been a, a hype for all I care. He had to move and he was the one getting paid to protect he was right about how rappers are in their own city when you get the money you have to move out and it's just sad to see another successful black man have to go out like that he was doing so much for his family and all the people around him so say nothing so that's why they went ahead and and pulled probably pulled up at yogati's uh restaurant because they're thinking that somebody's gonna retaliate on uh doll side is basically it's, it's it's uh open season on all the ops uh in memphis right now and um that's one thing that's uh kind of getting people scared and everything because you know uh when some significant figure like this goes out you know everybody's gonna do something and key glock uh, that's uh, very close to Young Dolph, you know, just deactivated his social media and stuff. So he's tired of it. And the entire city of Memphis is uh, pretty much going to end up going under some kind of curfew. The politicians are already been pushing, trying to have it their way where, you know, they control this kind of violence. Um, and then, you know, Soldier Boy is already trying to get clout off of this situation by promoting his, uh, his new song. And people in the comments is talking about how uh, his show coming up in Memphis is about to get canceled. And I bet you didn't know that, you know, Soldier Boy got a show coming up in Memphis and he was uh, already uh, in the past couple weeks beefing with Key Glock and Young Dolph. And now after this happens, 
it's definitely gonna not gonna be a good look for Soldier Boy. That show is, is most definitely gonna probably get canceled uh, for his safety. Cause like I said, it's open season on the Ops in Memphis right now. And if you is not rocking with uh, Young Dolph side, it's not looking good for you. You better stay inside or something like that. And that's why they having that curfew. Cause you know, um, it's active. Memphis is very active in many ways. It's like there's some CMG people involved in it. You know, police just don't go to places when people get shot for no reason. They're going there to try to find out what's going on with that side of, of the people. Because they know Yo Gotti and Dolph had this type of beef where shit like this could needs to be investigated or something like that on their side, on the police side. You know, when it comes to the streets, nobody's going to say nothing. So that's why they went ahead and, and pulled, probably pulled up at Yo Gotti's uh, restaurant because they're thinking that somebody's going to retaliate on uh, Dolph's side. It's basically, it's, it's, it's uh, open season on all the ops uh, in Memphis right now.